Alright, welcome back to the first uh, Jersey vlog that we've done here on New Esports in a very long time. It has been two months. Um, ten random jerseys from my collection, which we've just had to put up some reinforcements around my room to hang more jerseys. Anyway, up first tonight is FC Barcelona, uh, the 2012 away shirt. Uh, if anything, I sort of think back to the old days of Microsoft Word or PowerPoint and those old school gradients, those sunset gradients. That's exactly what this is. I'm not really a fan of it. Um, I'm not, it's, you know, this, this is an old shirt now. I'm not even sure why I got it. It must have been very cheap and I don't know, I also got the home shirt from that year which is a lot better, but this is just, it's, yeah, I, I don't think I've ever worn it and I don't think I ever will wear it. Um, I have worn this one that night they played Adamstown. This is a local shirt, the Ford and Redbacks. Um, the only jersey I think I got given this year locally, I've got a few polo shirts, or well, Cessnock, Cessnock shirt as well, but anyway, Ford and Redbacks. This is this year's jersey. Um, it's got all the correct sponsors and stuff. Um, it's got number nine on the back, Subit, not Subit anymore. Um, anyway, uh, I don't even know if they'll be wearing this next year, they might get a new kit. Uh, for me, I, I do like it. Uh, you know, the badge isn't, it's just printed on the shirt. Um, lots of sponsors, which is good. The more sponsors, the more money. Um, I do like the design. Obviously, I did my uh, new FM jersey ratings the other day, but this one, obviously, I've got in person as well. Um, might wear that at the Six aside one night, see if it might get a couple, stir up a few people with it. Um, Marseille, third jersey, Olympic Marseille from France uh, in the Ligue 1. Um, this is last year's third kit. I got it cheap. My left arm's hurting, so I'm going to use my right arm. And uh, Olympic Marseille actually wear all white, sort of. So I went to, you know, I've got a lot of white shirts, I've got a lot of Madrid shirts, so I went to something different. Uh, this is pretty much Argentina, but at least it's something different um, instead of just all white. Uh, made by Adidas, again, makes it look even more like Argentina. Um, the sleeves remind me a little bit of uh, a Zenit St. Petersburg shirt that I think I've shown on here. If not, I wore it yesterday. Um, a lot of sky blue in football and Marseille. I, I do like their badge. I, I, I've got to, I've got to give it that. Up next, Bristol City away kit. I don't think I've shown this one. I might have shown Bristol Rovers. Um, anyway, it's been so long since the last one of these episodes. This shirt I am not really a fan of. Um, when I ordered it, I don't know, I was expecting it to be a little bit less, it's a heavy sort of collar. The colour looked a lot better online, it's not the greatest. I do like their purple, uh, purple or green, I think it's purple and the shorts are lime green, their kit this year. Hashtags on football jerseys should not be a thing. Um, you've got their stadium on the back, which off the top of my head is Ashton Gate. And I hope it is, because if it's not, then obviously I don't know my stadiums very well, do I? But uh, It does remind me a little bit of the Mariners, but I guess it's gold, not really yellow. But, um, I do know the stadium for this team, it's the Allianz Arena, it's Bayern Munich. Uh, this is the away kit from the 16-17 season, I just read that I was supposed to grab the home kit. Uh, anyway, this is the away kit. Um, I do like it. The f the grey, the grey, and the grey. It's three gradients of grey. Can I say grey more in one in one little section of a video? You got the four stars there for the European titles. Uh, Bayern Munchen on the back, Munich, of course. Mia San Mia, the club motto. Um, the 25-year Bundesliga badge sticker thing. Absolutely love this shirt um, and I really think that the fluoro red, electric red, I don't know, it's got some sort of weird name no doubt. It just 
it just has perfect contrast with the grey. Talking about good contrast, up next is the England Away kit from the 2012, I was going to say World Cup, but it couldn't have been. Uh, so it must have been the Euros. Uh, or whenever it was, this was the Away kit. Um, Umbro not making England shirts is, in my opinion, just a travesty. Uh, you know, I've got some of the newer Nike shirts for England. This is just, this is a beautiful shirt. Um, Umbro that year, they were making it this material. Um, obviously, you can't feel the material through the video, but it's a cottonish material. It's not like any other, it's not like this. It's, it's nice. I would not wear it on a hot day, which happened to be today, so... But again, this is just perfect, you know, dark navy blue, sky blue collar, um, a really nice away kit for England. Uh, another away kit happens to be FC Copenhagen from Denmark, I'm going to say. I feel like I got that wrong, but um, anyway, they're one of those teams you always see popping up in the Europa League, possibly the Champions League, uh, Copenhagen. Uh, they do wear white, so I, again, I don't like just buying, you know, plain white shirts. So I like I like a bit of colour. So this looks a lot like Inter Milan with the black and blue stripes, but I guess the white collar sort of offsets the Inter Milan look. Uh, Carlsberg, classic. You know, I miss seeing Carlsberg on the front of Liverpool shirts. Um, classic sponsor. And again, just... It is, you know, I can't ignore it, it's obviously a bit of a template look to it, but uh, nonetheless, it is nice. Uh, black and blue, you can't go wrong. Uh, up next, another Newcastle Jets shirt. This is the 1415 Away kit made by BLK, who I don't think exist anymore. Sponsored by Castle Quarry Products, who I don't think exist anymore. Um, NIB still do exist, so give them credit, and fortunately the Jets still exist. Um, unfortunately, and I'm a bit annoyed about this, the green does not still exist. Uh, I really like the old school KB United green, bl green brown and white colours of Newcastle, of course, um, New Newcastle rep sides and all that. On the back, blast from the past, Q Ulean's at number four. I don't know what they were thinking that year with the little I and all the other big letters. I think that was because Hyundai, I30 or whatever it was, the sponsor. Uh, that's all I can imagine. Nice shirt. Um, all I remember of it is them losing at Gosford in it, so probably not the best memories. Um, up next, we got a very, very flimsy coat hanger, which is not a good thing, but uh, this is this year's Arsenal third kit. This is what they wore against uh, Sydney FC, which I just happened to be sitting at watching that game in the crowd. I saw this shirt and I just said, I'm going to buy that shirt. Uh, it was pretty expensive compared to most shirts. Uh, that's because I've got Lacazette on the back. Um, I just, this pink, obviously in the Premier League they have to wear white. Uh, the pink number, I just think the grey offset by the pink is a, a fantastic look. Um, you know, there's not many fluoro colours I'd like. If this was fluoro green, it'd look god awful. But the fluoro pink on grey, I do like that look. Uh, apart from that, it's a bit template ish. Obviously, Puma this year have got the, uh, the uh, gradient dot things on the side. Anyway, last but not least, Colchester United. Um, if you didn't think it could get any more random than Bristol City, Colchester, I think, are from League 2. Possibly League 1, but I think they're in League 2. Um, and yeah, again, blue and white. A bit Hamilton Olympic looking. Uh, a few years ago they wore something similar to this. Um, I don't really know too much to say about it. Obviously the sponsor is uh, Western Homes. And I think the blue sponsor, you know, you got Macron in blue, everything's blue and white. You don't have like a huge red box or something with a sponsor on it. Pretty generic on the back. 
Um, but again, that is Colchester United, the last of the 10 shirts today. We're back. The Jersey vlog, hopefully more episodes, hopefully not a two month wait. Because if I only do an episode every two months, we're going to be here probably for the next 20 years or so. Uh, there's a lot of jerseys to get through. That's another 10. This one will be coming at a later date. I might have already done it. Anyway, thank you for joining us for this uh, Jersey vlog episode 6, I think it is. I'll see you in episode 7.